Okay, now let's shift over and look at some technical analysis. Because now we need to start building our scenario of what's going to happen. We've looked at the fundamentals from the monetary and fiscal. They're very bullish right now, very bullish now. Bearish in the future, that's why I call this, uh, this, this webinar boom bust. We're in the boom phase. We're in the boom phase. There'll be a bust, but that'll be next year, not this year. We're in the boom phase right now. So let's take a look at the weekly chart. Each one of these candles is one week. So this chart goes back several years. Now, one of the things that's happening here, you can see it's a clear bull market. It's a fantastic bull market since the COVID bottom last March. But look at this little diagonal red line right here. And you can see it's on an indicator here called stochastic. And the stochastic indicator is really an indicator of momentum. And so what this says is the momentum of the market is decl declining. It had been very bullish, but now look at this. We've really gone nowhere for a couple of months. We're just kind of rotating around. We're doing nothing. We're churning. We haven't made a new high in the S&P for weeks. And the NASDAQ is a long way away from its highs. The Dow's doing pretty good but the S&P not so hot and the NASDAQ really kind of crappy. So the weekly chart bullish, but there are warning signs, warning signs here. Let's take a look over here at the daily chart. Now this one starts to get interesting. So this right here, I've got the horizontal green line and a diagonal green line. In classical charting, that's called an ascending triangle. Now, a lot of people talk about uh, classical charting and chart patterns, and you know what? 90% of them do it wrong. One of the critical things that they forget is that there has to be a confirming volume activity. And the rules as stated by McGee Edwards, who really codified this back in 1948, they said an ascending triangle formation is a consolidation and it's a bullish consolidation. And it should, we should see the market break through this horizontal line on the S&P. That's great, but it's not a legitimate ascending triangle unless, now let's look down at the bottom of the chart, we see declining volume. And look at that. We see declining volume as the market goes through the pattern. So this looks like a legitimate ascending triangle formation, which should pop to the upside and give us a nice rally, okay? So looks pretty good from a technical perspective. 